Hey, good morning guys. Tush coming at you. It's uh, Tuesday, December 30th. Just coming up to 11 o'clock in the morning. And we're back out in the garage uh, again today. It's like a sauna out here. It's almost 20 degrees Celsius. I left the heat on a little high overnight. But uh, not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not feeling 100% today. But uh, we'll be out in the garage again for another round today. And uh, we're going to fight with those front fenders and um, see if we can get at least one of them off today. <clears throat> That's the objective for today anyway. So we'll see if we can get that uh, front driver side fender off. That would be a, a good accomplishment for today if I could get that done. And then following that, I could probably get the uh, windshield wiper motor off. Uh, once I get the um, fender off, I'll have access to the two studs that are uh, holding the nuts that are seized for um, the uh, windshield washer pump or uh, windshield washer motor. So we'll endeavor to get that done today. And like I said, if I get that done, I'll consider the day a success. And uh, that's it for now, guys. We'll come back at a later time and we'll give you an update. All right. Just thought I'd bring you under here so you can share my pain. So there are the cage nuts that are uh, really rusty. I don't know if you can see them very well, but uh, so I've got access to some of them. Uh, what I'm trying to do is break the cages out and just grab a hold of the nut that's inside the cage with a pair of vice grips and then going back up the top of the car and turning it out. That works for some of them and uh, for some of them it's not uh, being too successful, but uh, Anyway, you can see I've got these fasteners all the way along here as well that are covered. So I'm going to have to wire brush those off just to even get a wrench on them. And uh, some of these I'm not going to be able to access the cage nut on the inside. So that's probably going to be a problem. But uh, we'll tackle that when we get to it. <clears throat> we'll uh, endeavor to get the ones at least we can see. And then we'll move on from there. So that's the idea of what I'm dealing with underneath the car. A little bit of rust under here. That's the uh, front... Uh, body mount and I had to replace that on the 60. It's a known weak point on these cars because the radiator sits right beside it and it picks up a lot of moisture I guess from the uh, radiator. So that will have to be replaced. We'll have to fab up a part for that because I don't think that's available that bracket. So uh, we'll have to make something to uh, to fix that up at a later date. Anyway we'll get back to uh, trying to get these cage nuts off. Hey guys 420 and the fender is off. That was an absolutely horrendous, horrible job. It's the worst job I've ever done any, on any Triumph that I've owned uh, during any restoration. So, yeah, pretty difficult uh, situation. Not much room to work. Obviously on your back, upside down, in, in a wheel well, trying to uh, grind off, cut off cage nuts. Uh, you know, accessibility issues everywhere. So, anyway, uh, I won. It lost. And the fender's off. Um, it doesn't look too bad actually. You can actually see. Look at that. It's original uh, metal, unpainted, if you can believe that. This is just a dumb dumb uh, type sealer that went between the fender and the body. That's the original metal underneath that sealer, so that's not bad. So we'll uh, clean this down and we'll have a better look. I'll show you the uh, inside of the fender. I don't think that's actually too bad. It's got some damage on the bottom, which I was aware of. But for the most part, I think the rest of it looks not bad. So uh, I had to fix that uh, part on my other fenders that I'd done. So I'm familiar with uh, fixing that area. You can actually buy a lower fender section if they're really bad. But I'll just be able to repair that, I'm sure, with just some regular sheet mill. And the flange looks pretty good. So uh, anyway, we'll have to get all the undercoating off and have a better uh, assessment of it. But uh, all in all, it looks not too bad. Anyway. I will uh, have a look at the sill. I haven't had a real good chance to look at the inner sill. And uh, maybe we'll get down there and have a look. I'll, be, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see, but um, here is the, uh, the bottom inner sill. And actually they had welded the outer sill to the front fender, so I'd actually cut that to be able to release the fender. It's not supposed to be like that. So anyway, there's some roughness along the bottom here, but this is part of the, actually the fender it's actually still bolted to the uh, bottom of this sill. It's pretty rusty but we'll, uh, we'll have to clean it up and have a look. This is, a, this is a plate that goes in here. It's actually bolted on here. Um, I think it's called a scuttle plate anyway and this uh, rubber seal actually you know, buffers up against the, uh, the inside of the fender. So obviously that needs to be replaced. I think those are only about 25 bucks a side for the whole kit including the rubbers uh, and everything so that's not a big deal. So uh, We'll unbolt that, or we'll have to cut that off, I'm sure. It looks pretty crusty. And there you go, you can see the uh, inside of the fender a little bit better. Yeah, 
I don't think that fender has ever been off. You can pretty much tell by the uh, the factory sealer. So that's the first time that's been off in a long time. You can see all the bolts uh, I had to grind off along the uh, along the apron. That was a lot of fun. And you can see that I had no access on the inside of that because that, that fits up flush. So anyway, the uh, little Dremel came in handy. I couldn't get a full size grinder in there. I had it with the cutoff wheel and uh, grinding wheel. But it was, you couldn't get in there to access it, so I had to use the little Dremel, which uh, worked well, but it just takes a lot of time and effort. But anyway, that's it for now, guys. So one down, three to go. All right. Hey, guys, just another quick update for you. It's uh, just coming up to 5.30, and uh, got quite the uh, debris field. I want a bunch of crap off coming off this car. Uh, yeah. Um, there's the bulkhead uh, sealer plate. That's what it's called. I remember what it call was called. So, bulkhead sealer plate's out, and we need to make some repair down there eventually. But uh, doesn't look too bad. Actually, that sill's actually not not so bad. Uh, I'll have to take a better look at it and see uh, see how solid it is. Be nice if we could get away without replacing the inner sills, but we'll have to wait and see once I get a better look at them and uh, clean them up a little bit. Alright guys, that's it for now. Uh, we'll probably, I think what we'll do is maybe try to get that windshield wiper motor off and then uh, then we'll probably call it a, uh, a day unless we, uh, unless we get some more energy and get out here tonight. Anyway, we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, we got the wiper motor off. It didn't come off with too much uh, issue. Once we had the fender off, we were able to access those two cage nuts underneath. So, let's uh, clean that area up a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Uh, the metal's pretty good under there, so I'm happy about that. Actually, this metal in the fender looks pretty good, so uh, I don't really have too many concerns about that. So I think what we'll do tomorrow is we'll probably get out here and uh, take out the uh, the wiper uh, rack um, mechanism, and then we'll probably start working on removing the uh, passenger side uh, front fender, and we'll make a, a full day of that, I'm sure. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll upload this, and we'll get back out here tomorrow. Thanks very much.